Now, one accident during the race barely missed becoming a tragic situation for fans watching in turn two. When Felix Rosenquist made contact with Kyle Kirkwood, one of the tires off Kirkwood's car flew over the catch fence, landing in the middle of a parking lot. Our Caitlin Kendall made it to the scene for reaction. All I seen was a bang and a tire go through the air. Kirkwood went sideways. A pizza fly hit me right there. The, the rubber. Car flew well, it actually wrecked in front of us, so he felt some of the rubber debris. Um, we saw the tire with part of the suspension fly right over us, over the fans. I saw the tire coming, and I, I, I thought I was going to get hit. That's that's a big hunk of material at that speed, yeah. First time I've ever seen the underside of a, an Indy car during a race. Luckily, nobody, nobody got hurt. I'm like, okay, I thought it hit a golf cart. Somebody's like, it hit a golf cart. And then they're like, Robin, that's your car. It hit your car. Your reaction when you come out and see the big gaping hole on the hood of your car? Shaking, nervous, just almost about to cry. Not, I'm just thankful that nobody got hurt. The tire went off right in front of me. It was like slow motion. And thank God for the safer barriers. Luckily, the pole was there that stopped the tire. It's crazy when you see this type of stuff, right? Oh, absolutely, but that's part of it. You know, you know what to expect when you come in. You got up and you drove in to work today. Little did you know. Little did I know. Jim, one of the um, yellow shirts, I asked him, I said, where do you want me to park? He's like, park right there. So I parked right there under Jim's orders, and this is what happened. It's wow. not a big deal. Wow, you found so, a little piece of the car. Are you going to take that home? Yep. Oh, yeah. You'll never forget the 107th running of the Indy 500. Never, no, because my car was damaged. <laughs> but I'm just glad that nobody's hurt and that everybody is fine. Yeah, just a car. Caitlin Kendall. WRTV. Wow. Well, early reports say more than 325,000 people made their way to the race this year. IMS officials had been expecting a large crowd, so they took extra steps to avoid large backups at the security gates. The backups were often due to people having to have their coolers and bags checked by security. But this year, IMS deployed a new security technology called OpenGate. Unlike traditional metal detectors, this one is mobile and can be set to detect certain kinds of metals. From what we saw on Sunday, the technology appeared to be successful. We spotted lines that seemed to be moving a lot quicker than in previous years.